What we have here is a uh, is a wall basket. It's called a patio wall basket, and uh, in the same uh, family of products as the uh, the patio hanging basket, the patio topiaries. The weighted basket works again with two thumbs. We press down and push down the flaps, and we have have holes here that we can nicely slide our plants in. What we're going to do right now is we're actually going to plant up a succulent. Um, wall basket. Succulents do very well against the wall and what I have here is a, a selection of succulents that there's they're small now but they will fill in and give some really nice color and contrast with the foliage and uh, with the blooms when they uh, when they do blossom. Again we press down the flaps. Um, I've made sure that the bottom of the basket is filled with uh, with soil and uh, we simply put in the succulents. All of these succulents will fill in nicely. Here we have uh, some Senecio Coba. One of the principles that we follow at Floral Dimensions when making mixed baskets, mixed succulent baskets is uh, uh, and planters is we want to have what we call a filler, a thriller, and a spiller. A spiller is something that spreads over. Um, a filler is the foliage that that fills in the pot nicely, and the thriller is your focus plant. We're actually going to use an aeonium kiwi as our as our thriller plant. Um, here we have some variegated mezu that will actually add again some nice color contrast. You know, we get our six pots in there. Um, we're going to put a ghost plant, or it's in the Pachyphytum family, in the corner here. That will trail quite nicely. Um, we fill the wall basket up with soil to the rim. Spread it out. Again, this is a good time. With succulents, you want to use a very well-drained soil. A little bit of sand would be helpful, but again, because of the time of year that we're doing this, we don't have access to the sand. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plant our thriller. This is going to be our focus plant. Um, as the seasons change, the colors on the Aeonium uh, Kiwi, which is native to Australia, will really come out nicely. We're going to use a variegated uh, Prusula in the back, that will go along the wall. We have some string of pearls. String of pearls will do very well. We're also, uh, there's also a Senecio. We're going to put that here in the in the front. And that'll give a nice uh, trailing effect as well. In the corner, we're going to use a Crenulata Echeveria, a Nospertum. Uh, annual sedum. We're going to use a Senecio Kobai in this corner here. Burrow's tail sedum as well. And then lastly we will use a, uh, a coral cactus our rip solids that will also plant and fill in quite nicely. If you plant your succulent baskets early enough, they will fill out nicely. It is January here in Ontario, so this basket has lots of time to fill in. By the time April comes around, we will not see the soil. You may want to use bigger plants when that time comes if you're going to plant later. So here we have our patio wall basket planted. Only took a few minutes to do. The next thing that we do is we water it in, uh, but not too heavily. It's January. We don't want to water the succulents too heavy right now. Before we mount the basket, what comes with each patio basket is a uh, patio wall basket. There are some mounting brackets, and we want to mount these brackets on the wall. And what will happen is the patio 
wall bass will then just clip onto the side of the wall and hang freely. We also want to install, and this comes with the basket, is there are a couple of clips um, that we put into the side here. And these clips are actually quite important. The purpose of the clip is to make sure that we have adequate ventilation between the basket and the wall. We don't want our wall to discolor or, uh, or create an environment for algae or anything like that. So we do want a little bit of ventilation. So what we do then is we take our basket over to the wall where we're going to mount it. We simply slide it on. The rim will fit over the bracket. And it is complete. It is that simple. Only a few minutes and, you know, a novice can become a professional.